now comes the juicy stuff. In this lecture, we are going to see how can we import real-time streaming data for visualization. You may have made the investment in a data and analytics tool that turns data into insights. You are able to visually explore and analyze your data in a single platform. While this is crucial to fostering a data-driven culture, if you aren't making decisions based on real-time data, you will fall short of your competition, for example, in customer services, in operational efficiency, and employees' motivation, making decisions on real-time data allows you to make quicker, more proactive decisions than your competitors. Power BI features for real-time analysis. There are two ways of achieving real-time analysis in Power BI, automatic page refresh and streaming. Introduced in October 2019, Automatic Page Refresh is a preview feature that allows for the full customization of Power BI Desktop while also having data refreshed as frequently as one second. Introduced in 2016, streaming datasets can come from an Azure data stream, PubNub or REST API and they offer true real-time data. With Power BI real-time streaming, you can stream data and update dashboards in real-time. Any visual or dashboard that can be created in Power BI can also be created to display and update real-time data visuals. First off, let's define the three categories of real-time data sets which are designed for display on real-time dashboards. These are not specific options you will find in Power BI, rather the choices you make when building the streaming data sets will result in the data set fitting into one of these categories. This data is pushed into the Power BI service. This is a special case of streaming data set in which you enable historic data analysis in the streaming data source configuration dialog. Push data set are stored in Power BI online and can accept data via the Power BI REST API or Azure Streaming Analytics. One of the most interesting things about push data set is that in spite of providing 5 million rows of history by default, they do not require a database. We can, in fact, push streaming directly from a source such as a device or executing code to Power BI Online's REST API. Streaming data set. Data is also pushed into Power BI service with an important difference. Power BI only stores the data into a temporary cache which quickly expires. As the name implies, streaming datasets have limited or no history and just look at the most current values for each field. Because there is no history, there are only a few special purpose styles for showing streaming data in dashboards. The upside of using these is that they update on change, meaning that if your data changes every second, so will the tiles. These are situations where this is critical, so this is a very nice feature to have available in Power BI if you need it. PubNub is third-party data service. It is designed with IoT in mind, but its powerful back-end data stores can provide data for chat platforms, log readers, and more. It is also free for up to 500 devices, each of which is essentially a data source. Hello everyone. In this lab session, we are going to see that how can we import streaming real-time data. But we are not going to do this in the Power BI desktop, but we are going to use Power BI services. So just type in powerbi.com and click enter. So it will ask you either you want to sign in or you want to try it for free or you want to buy it now. So if you don't have an account as of yet, just click on the try free option and sign up for a free account. Since I do have an account, so I'm going to sign into it. 
I saved my credentials so it's just bringing me to the main workspace. So here I have options of workspaces in my workspaces I'm going to go into my workspace. So for the very first time you're going to see this page which is there to get data. So you can get the data of files of, from here, you can get the data from databases, services in my organization but I am going to skip this for now. So just click on the skip option. Now let's just create a data set to be precise a streaming data set. Now we have different option which is a API which is a REST API, we have Azure Stream and then we have PubNub. We discussed these in the theoretical part so I'm just going to go with PubNub for this one and I'm going to click on next and it's asking me for a data set name. So let's just say that I want this to be sensors data. So it's asking me for a sub key and it's asking me for a channel name. So let's just search for PubNub data set sample. So I'm just going to click on this option and you see we have Twitter sentiments we have game state sync, we have the sensor data, Wikipedia changes, hacker news articles, market orders. So I'm just going to try this for the sensor data. Why don't you guys go ahead and try it for the Twitter stream? I think that's going to be interesting as well. So I'm just going to click on this option. Scroll it down. And you see that these are my streams. I have radiation, humidity, I have temperature, light level, and I need to accept the cookies. So here you see that we have a channel and we have a subscribe key. So let's just select this channel and paste it in the desired field. And let's just do the same with the sub key. So I'm just going to select this, copy this, and I'm going to paste it in the sub key. Just click on next. So now you can see that the name of the data set is sensor data and the radiation level, ambient temperature, all of these are the fields and you can see that these are their data types. So these are automatically assigned to them. Here's a little code for that. So I'm just going to create this. And now in the data sets, you can see that we have our sensor data. So this is how you import your data into the Power BI services. So this is actually the streaming data that we have imported into Power BI services. And in future, we're going to see that how can we use this data in order to fill our tiles. Thanks for watching.